Which YouTube channel gets paid the most amount of money? That is what we're going to find out in this video. But first, let me just quickly explain how does one get paid on YouTube. It's called AdSense, and AdSense are those ads that you find at the beginning, the middle, and the end of videos. There are obviously other ways people get paid, but we are only talking about AdSense. And there are also a few things which affect AdSense. The number of ads in that video, the content of that video, and where the audience or the viewers of that video are based. Are they based like in the UK? Are they based in China? Wherever. Those three things have a massive impact on how much you get paid from YouTube. Whilst taking all of that into account, let's find out which type of channel gets paid the most amount of money. Is it a fitness channel? Is it a business channel? Is it a vlog channel? Let's find out. The types of channels we are going to be comparing in this video are business, tech, entertainment, talking about YouTube videos, vlogging, finance, fitness, investing, art, and just random news and, you know, pieces, videos. I have heavily researched all of this information directly from the source, which is those YouTube channels. I haven't used websites like Social Blade, which is a website which kind of tells you all this different YouTube data about lots of different channels. I find it highly inaccurate in certain areas, especially when it comes to revenue. So I just wanted to tell you that this research, I've actually watched so many videos to find out all this different information of what people make, and I've kind of compiled it all together for this video. When it comes to getting paid on YouTube, you have something called CPM and RPM. Now, this is really important because a lot of people only share their CPM, so that's not actually a true representation of how much they make. CPM is how much you get paid per a thousand views before YouTube take their cut. RPM is how much you get paid for a thousand views after YouTube has taken their cut. So RPM is the true, the true figure of how much you're getting paid. So for example, you can see mine here is $33 for CPM for the last 28 days, but my RPM, which is actually how much I get for a thousand views, is around $15. So it's kind of like half. YouTube take half and you get the other half. So the first channel we're going to be looking at is Jillian Perkins, who has a business related channel. Her CPM is $14.95, so she earns around $5,000 a month. The next channel is Shelby Church, who is a tech and lifestyle channel. Her CPM is all over the place because she occasionally does business videos, lifestyle videos, just random videos. So for her lifestyle videos, she can get around $2 CPM, but on her money related videos, she can get near a $17 CPM. So you could ask yourself, why doesn't she just stick to business videos? Why does she bother making all these other videos? And it's because she's not doing this for the money. She genuinely enjoys creating content and money is just extra. And also she clearly obviously makes money from sponsors and other various places but the point is she isn't making the videos just for the money she's making them because she enjoys to make them and that's the most important important thing to note graham stephen or stefan is in personal finance business entrepreneurship and his cpm is 29 dollars, and he was earning around one hundred and thirty thousand dollars a month in 2020 from 2 million subscribers this is probably the most craziest craziest example and he is probably the top, one of the top earning YouTube channels just because of his crazy CPM of $29, which means he's getting around $15, which is actually similar to me. The difference is the scale here, he's getting, well, he's got 2 million subs. He's getting so many millions of views every single month. That is why he's able to earn $130,000 a month. Mr. Beast, we all know what Mr. Beast does, who he is very entertaining giving away money it looks like his cpm is around two dollar fifty but this was a few years ago and i couldn't find an updated video around it however he does get around 350 million views per month so even if his cpm hadn't changed much he's doing pretty well the next one is katherine manning she talks about youtube growth business but mostly she gives ideas on how to grow your youtube channel her cpm is 17 dollars 61 and in 2020, she earned 88,000 from around 9.7 million views. That's pretty good. And she had around 300,000 subscribers at the time. So that is really a full-time income. That is a proper, proper income. But again, she had to build herself up to 300,000 subscribers. The next is Kelly does her thing, which is just random vlogs. Her CPM is $6 and we can directly compare 
Kelly to Catherine as Kelly got around nine and a half million views but only got paid $18,625, which is vastly different to that of Catherine, who got 9.7 million views, but got paid $88,000, so a huge difference. The next one is Financial Wolf. He's all about money challenges, making money online, business. And the reason why I've put him in here is because he started when he was 16, and it's a huge motivation to see someone from 16 start a YouTube channel, he's now 18, and he's earned $46,000 in the last two years being on YouTube, which is just crazy considering, you know, he was 16. So like I said, he's got that money challenging business kind of YouTube channel where he does all these cool different challenges, you know, Instagram challenges or dropshipping challenge or sneaker reselling challenge, whatever they may be. The next is a fitness channel and it's Matt Does Fitness. I don't know if you've ever seen Matt Does Fitness, but he's pretty big on YouTube right now. And this is totally fitness. He does all these different fitness challenges as well. And his CPM is around $7, which for a fitness channel is pretty good. And he shared his actual stats in 2020. So we were able to see that in 2020, from 131 million views, he was able to earn $400,000, which is pretty insane. Pretty insane. I can't count how many friends I've told to start fitness channels. And just because there is other fitness channels that are big out there already, it does not mean you cannot succeed with your fitness channel. The next is an art channel called Sticky Art. And I wanted to put this in here because obviously a lot of people on my who watch my YouTube videos and on this channel are into art. So I wanted to kind of share what you could get for that. So Sticky Art, this channel, I couldn't really get information on their CPM. However, from 1 million views, they were able to get around $700, which isn't too good if you think about it. It's really not too good if you think about it. And I guess art channels just don't pay as well as most other channels and it's all based on what advertisers will want to go on your channel so besides the three things i said earlier in the video you know the um, the number of ads the audience where the audience is and what the content is about you also have to understand an advertiser might not want to go on your channel if there's no relation so for example you're not going to get you know a trading 212 ad on an art channel. You'll get art supplies or something like that. So you have to bear in mind, that's why the finance channels get so much more money because the people advertising on their channels, are, the ads for them cost a lot more money because they're business related ads. And finally, the last channel, which is Colin and Samir, which is quite a random, which is quite a random channel. It's got a lot of random content. Looking at their last 10 videos, they have some YouTube stuff, some money stuff, some just cool ideas and stories, and they love interviewing people. And their CPM is around $7.13. From this, we can see the highest paid type of channel seems to be personal finance, and it seems to be somewhere in the Graham Stephen or Stefan range or Meet Kevin, those kind of people. They seem to bring in the highest CPMs. However, when it comes to picking your YouTube channel, you shouldn't be doing it based on money. So just because finance gets the highest CPM and the highest amount of money, it doesn't mean you should go for a finance channel. You should go for a channel that you enjoy and never ever start YouTube for the money because either way, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. So it would take you so long just to get to that point where you're starting to make money. But even when you then become monetized, the money is so small. If your sole focus to start a YouTube channel is for the money, you're going to end up giving up really, really soon. You need your sole focus to be something. The reason needs to be because you love what you're doing. You love creating that, those videos. You love creating that, that channel. You love talking about that topic. And then, and then, and then money will follow down the line. But that's so important because I feel like that's the only way you're going to continue with it rather than just be like, mm, I'm not making so much money, I'm gonna stop. And don't forget, this is just YouTube AdSense. You've also got affiliate marketing, merch, sponsors, and many other ways to make money through your YouTube channel, providing you, know, you create a YouTube channel and it gets some subscribers and some views. And I also wanted to quickly let you know before I ended this video that I'm bringing out an exact step-by-step -step series on how to create a YouTube channel. Literally everything I've learned in the last year and more, and I'm not charging for it. It's going to be done on YouTube. It's going to be very structured because I've taken a lot of questions from people starting their channels and finding out what they find difficult with YouTube, uh, like YouTube training courses, those kind of things. And a lot of people say that they're not structured enough and they feel like they're confused after watching a YouTube video what the next step should be. So I've 
spent the last couple of months creating the most in-depth, step-by-step, perfect system to create your YouTube channel, and I'm hoping to launch it really, really soon. I'm still working out the finer details, but I feel like it could be really, really cool for you. And I just wanna end by saying thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you were to start a YouTube channel or if you have a YouTube channel, what is your niche? Let me know and yeah, thanks so much for watching.